Welcome to Chalian TV. My name is Blessing Adams. And today what we have for you is a sweet short story. I hope you enjoy it and you tell us what you've learned. A maker sat alone in his dimly lit apartment. The weight of his mistakes pressing heavily on his shoulders. He stared at the photographs scattered across the coffee table. Snapshots of happier times with his wife, Yetunde. Their wedding day vacations, and quiet evenings at home seemed like distant memories now, ghosts of a life he had carelessly shattered. It had started innocently enough. A new colleague at work, Amina, had shown him attention and admiration that he hadn't felt from yesterday in a while. The thrill of something new and forbidding had been intoxicating, leading the maker down a path of deception. He had convinced himself that it was just a harmless fling something he could control and keep eating. But secrets have a way of surfacing, you know. And when Yesunde found out, a devastation was palpable. Yesunde had confronted him, her voice trembling with a mixture of anger and heartbreak. Why, a maker? Why did you do this to us? Her eyes, once, we once filled with love, now bore a look of betrayal that caught him to the core. A maker had no answers, just excuses that sounded hollow even to his ears. The days following the revelation were a blow of argument, tears, and silent treatment. Yet when they moved out, unable to stay in the home that now felt tainted by his betrayal. As months passed, a maker's initial sense of freedom quickly morphed into regret and loneliness. The affair with Amina fizzled out, leaving him with nothing. But the wreckage of his marriage, he realized too late that what he had chased was an illusion and what he had lost was irreplaceable. One evening, desperate to make amends, a maker sent a voice note to Yetunde. He poured his heart out, acknowledging his faults and expressing his deep remorse. He didn't expect for forgiveness. He didn't expect forgiveness but hoped she would at least understand the depth of his regret. A few days later, he received a reply. Yesterday's words were kind, yet firm. She had moved on, finding solace and strength in the company of friends and family. She wished him well, but made it clear that their chapter was closed. A maker listened to the voice note with tears in his face, and he held his phone close to his arms. He knew now that some mistakes could never be undone. The price of momentary lapse had been the love of his life, and that was his burden he would carry forever. Tell us what you've learned in this story in the comment section. Why we prepare a sweeter story for you next week. Have a wonderful day. Bye.